Okay, welcome back to part 43 of the Pokemon Ultra Moon walkthrough. We beat the Elite Four. Uh, we became the champion. What's gonna happen next? We'll see. Looks like you slept well, Ryanyu. Who's this? How? You. How did you get in? Mom, you cannot let anyone does that anymore. No, stop that. You you ring the bell and then you come in without me letting you go in. Alola, the salty breeze sang to me that brought me here to you. Meow? Oh, there's a Catonian mouth. Look at the shiny horn you had, kitty kitty. Meow? <laughs> Me out to you too. <laughs> oh, by the way, there's some pretty interesting people looking for you too. So come on, let's get out of here. The champion of Alola doesn't get just stay inside all day. Who is it gonna be? Oh, hello, Brianna. Congratulations on becoming Alola's first champion. I heard that the battle against Hal to decide the champion was quite the spectacle. So, champion, as they call you, would you be so kind to give us your assistance? Ultra beasts have appeared in the depths of Pony Island. They must have traveled there via the ultra wormhole created at the Archer of Pony. Sadly, we're no match for them. This is why we request your assistance, champion. Me and the Sujuai are going to go too. Of course, we're counting on you, Hal. We're planning on heading to Pony Island immediately. Would you care to come along? Uh, I'll join up later. Because... Uh, <laughs> we actually have three members in a PC right now. So we gotta, we gotta grab them real quick. Just send the Pokemon Center right here. There they are. Go back to our team. Thank you. Alright, let's head to Pony Island now. Okay, where they are they? They're right up there. Okay, oh, who's that? Uh, Wiki? You're on over here. If you head into Pony Grove here, there's there are Ultra Beasts right here in Alola. My young friend Bionu, congratulations on becoming a champion. I have heard that your trial first battle against Mr. Master Master Hell was quite fiery. And now the two of you will look into the mysteries of Ultra Beasts, is that right? I'll support you however I can. I brought you both a little something. <laughs> uh, of course. Of course. What, what, what else could it be? Young Master Gladian also left something with me to you. It's Type No. Ooh. Okay, so that's how you get Type No here. I remember I saw reset a shiny Type No in the last game. That was pretty painful, actually. You know what? Let's look at his. Uh Let's look at the summary, because why not? Special attack. Oh no, it's it's what nature? Quiet nature. That kinda sucks. Oh well. I will also entrust you with all the memory drives need to change type nulls. Evolution. Pokemon Safali. Whole stack of memory drives, 16 of them, in fact. It was being researched as a possible weapon to be used to fight Ultra Beasts, but I think a trainer like you, Master Gladion, thinks you will be able to show Type No that there is much more to this wide world than that. Man, that Gladion, he doesn't, he just doesn't want to let me win, doesn't he? When he gets back from the trainer of his, I'm definitely asking him for a battle. So he did go to Kanto, huh? I'm off to Pony Grove. The members of Ultra Recon Squad were also make, well, making for Pony Grove, I believe. 
Okay, so I'm actually gonna save here because there's version ex exclusive Ultra Beast in Pony Growth, which, if you saw in the trailer, is is the uh, Ghost type, Fire Ghost and Rock Steel type. So I'll see you in Pokemon Ultra Sun. Okay, now we're at Pokemon Ultra Sun, so let's head into Pony Growth. Oh, the music already changed. <laughs> And the character changed, of course, because this is the Ultra Sun, the Ultra Moon. There you are, the Ultra Beast is also known as Blacephalon. Blacephalon. Is that how it pronounced? A wandering here in Pony Grove. They must be very uneasy being here in a new world, I should know. That's how I was too. I seem to call, recall your being, your being besides yourself with excitement, Zulzi. Moving right along. Here are some beast ball for you. They're the same ones you can buy Aether Paradise. Oh, I can buy them there. But they get but they gave them to us since this is an emergency. Isn't that nice? Just five? Okay. Hey thanks. So if you're giving us these balls, doesn't mean you want to, us to catch them? Want to get ready to help us protect the Ultra Beasts. If you would accept black Placephalon is your partner, so it will be of great assistance to us. Oh, and for your record, it seems there are at least three Placephalon. Okay, so I guess we have to find like three of them? Come out, come out, whenever you are. Okay. Okay, so Placephalon, it's fire and ghost type. So, I guess we'll use Incineroar? I think that's our best bet. Yeah, okay. Alright, let's do this. Oh! Right on! There it is, Blacephalon. Um... Special Attack Rose Shobly. Oh, this is... This looks kind of scary. Level 60! Holy shit! Well, hmm. Okay, fire ghost type. So I'm gonna use Darkest Lariat. Hopefully it doesn't kill it. Because all, all you have to do is just, like, mind blown. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, that's gonna kill it. RIP! Wait... Is it... I just killed it. There's more, right? Over here. The Blacephalon was too strong. I was nowhere even close to catching it. But you will now keep itself hidden for a while. It won't attack other Pokemon. We can use this time to gather data and to work with Aether Foundation to capture it. Let's see, it seems like there's still Phil Basifalon wandering around. Okay, so we still... <laughs> we can still catch it. Okay, so I... Okay, so... Let me bait him into using, like, Mind Blown. So, like, I bait him using Mind Blown. Then it will cut his HP in half. That's a lot of... Like, that's a lot of recoil, though. Um, okay. So, presumably, Mind Blown is, like, Ghost-type attack? Oh my god, I have to heal. Okay, glad I have a shitload of Max Potion. Mind Blown? Okay, cool. Now I can catch it. Hopefully. Okay, I hope it's unable to use it, otherwise it will kill itself. Two. Three. Okay, cool. That was not too bad, actually.
plus Civilon. Okay. Let's look at his summary. Oh, normal nature. So, it's a special attacker. Great speed. Let's see, mind blown. Oh, it's a fire type attack. Okay, that's interesting. 150. <laughs> the user attacks everything around it by causing a head to this explode. <laughs> fire blast and shadow ball. Wow, this this set though. Holy crap. Right, center box. How gave us Specifalon he caught? This will help us gather the data we can use to protect the Ultra Beasts. Perhaps a day will come where the Ultra Beasts will live here as Alola as normal Pokemon. More things for us to research. We're grateful for help, I'm sure we will meet again. Those were some epic battles, the Sujuayat had a good time too. Come on Rihanna, let's head on. Oh, we're back home, so... Well, uh, I'm going to switch to Pokemon Ultra Moon right now. Okay, we're back to Pokemon Ultra's Moon, so let's head into it. Probably the cutscenes will be the exact same. Um, only the character got changed. So let's skip all of these. Oh, we probably you probably missed the dialogue, so the, the, the Ultra Beast is called Stakataka. And it's like the blocky, blocky thing, uh, Ultra Beast. Um, and it's steel and rock type, but it has like a shit ton of defense. So if we use Incineroar and use Cross Chop, that probably won't kill it. But we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, that wasn't a stack attack. Ah, let's try again. There it is. Oh my god, this thing. Why do they all look so weird? The only the only Like like I said before, the only normal looking Ultra Beast is it's Nagandel. Nagagandel. I don't know how to say the name. Okay, let's see how much cross chop do. Wow, okay, just over half. Let's see if we can catch it. Oh shit, it knows Rock Blast. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh ho ho, Jesus. Please get in the ball. Nice. Okay, that was easy enough. Again. Ultra Beast, uh, Ultra Beast is so easy to be caught in uh, <laughs> Beast Balls. Dude, look at this! What is this thing? I don't get it. It's it, it's Donald Trump behind the design of this. Like it, it's literally a wall. Okay, let's check out his summary. Oh, okay, so it's a wow! Look at that tag. Look at that tag. 176. Wow. It's, it could be a physical sweeper and a defense. Wow! Holy crap. Okay. I got the, like the worst nature possible. Don't worry. Let's see what the next one is. I was nowhere even close to catching it because you suck. Okay, there's still one more, so let's go find it. Well, I think my Incineroar is gonna die. 
Hopefully it doesn't miss the cross chop, otherwise that'll be dreadful. Oh, it defends real sharply, that's why I didn't kill it. So like, if it didn't get a raise in defense, I, would, I probably I would have killed it because like times two to that. So it seems like his defense is not actually that great. I'm dead. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Oh my god, it erases his defense. Well, if I use Skull, I'm gonna kill it because it does not have good special defense. So let's just go catch it. This is probably not a good idea because it's not even yellow yet. Never mind. Okay. Never mind. Oh, well, I didn't even get to see the summary, but you you get the idea. We, you see that you see the defense stand and attack stat is pretty ridiculous. We received a Staka Takaha was able to capture. Blah blah blah. Yep, that's the same dialogue. A few Hours later. Okay, that's all for this episode. We caught two Ultra Beasts, and on the next part, there will be something different in the story. It's not about Ultra Beasts anymore. Well, it's, it's. Why am I even saying this? It's Team Rainbow Rocket, okay? Next part, peace.